iPad 11 Pro? 11? 2020? Yo, yeah. let's get into the inbox. Uh, yeah. First, let me go get a haircut. Mm. I don't like the way this is looking. Thank goodness, dang. Mm. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my Jam Talk Show. This is my video about iPad Pro 11 in 2020, which came out in March. I've been waiting so long for this, and I'm happy, I'm excited. I can't wait to open the box. The one that I have purchased, second generation, 128 gigabyte, Wi-Fi only. Let's get inside this box real quick. I don't really need, well, we don't really need to be any of this. I got this, the warranty, Apple sticker. Probably put that on my Android. Let me go look at Apple. All right. Hit the magnets on the bottom. What I love about this is the speakers. It has speakers on both sides. One, two, get the power adapter in the middle. Three, four. Power button, volume button. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go hook this up and I'm gonna be right back with y'all. Okay. Have a quick, so it's gonna take about two hours. Again, I love Apple. The reason why I love Apple is because everything is connected to one based on your iCloud or using your iCloud. Like it's really convenient in any situation, you know what I mean? Or circumstance. Okay, now let's test it out. Swap up, place on the hmm. Try that one more time. Okay, it worked. Nah. We store from iCloud backup, we store from Mac or PC, move data from Android. Definitely, we don't do Android over here. Sorry, Android, but I'm about to go with iCloud backup. Nope, do that later. Set up later. Just don't share. Download and install.
agree okay finish downloading is it no okay they're gonna take about 20 hours and then you can see since I backed up since I backed up from my um, iPhone it's already signed into my Wi-Fi beautiful I don't have to set the date I don't have to set the time Well, it just finished preparing the update. Now it's installing. So this might take another five hours. And there you go. Okay, all the assets on my phone is downloading onto my iPad. So I guess I'll give it some time for it to finish. All right. Okay. From my opinion, I really got this iPad to start doing digital art, edit videos. In my opinion, the MacBook is a great laptop but f for like students or people who travel a lot i feel like this ipad pro is on the money because hey listen you got your ipad pro you get your keyboard mouse it's all type of accessories for the ipad all type of accessories for it, which is not me a good thing and beautiful so wherever you want to go you just Pop up on that keyboard, start typing. Uh, the screen looks good. Uh, let's see. I love to read comic books. No. Yes, yeah, so overall, the screen looks good. I like it. Wow. It creates it on my phone. This will load up with all the pages of the comic book. But on the iPad, it worked just as a laptop. Okay. That's nice. I like that. Let's see. Well, I don't really know how to work this yet. Let's see. Page. Yeah, it works just like the laptop. Yo, this is beautiful. I like it. I love this iPad. But hey, listen. That's just my opinion. This is better than a MacBook. It's easy to carry around. It's lightweight. You can add different accessories to your iPad and make it into one of your top notch type of laptop. Um, but like I said before, I'm using it for digital art, editing videos. This is beautiful, man. I love it. And look how quick it loaded up. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, you want to try one more page? Mmm. -hmm. Very quick and convenient. I like it. I like this. And what I love about it, because it's on a big screen, so it's easier to read. And most of the time, I do be reading my Bible. Yeah, it's very easy to read. Okay, so there's one thing I don't like about this case. The only thing I don't like about this case is I run multiple applications. 
and the iPad seemed to become warm or warmer and this case trapped the heat. That's one thing I hate, the case trapped the heat. And then I feel my iPad getting even hotter because it's not breathing. But other than that, this iPad case is very good, it's very secure, strong. I swear you could play football with it. Throw it down the block, it would not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It would not crack. So yeah, this is a good case. The case is good. It's real protective. Only thing I don't like is how it's not really connected to the speakers. And on the top, it's blocking the speakers. Got this pencil from Amazon. We gotta do a press it. It'll work. It doesn't fit in here. Hmm. What if I take the cap off? Okay, now it fit. But the cap is a magnetic field. It's magnetic, so I really can't lose it, but let me see. Oh, yeah, it just fell out, no good. So I'm not sure with the Apple Pencil, but this does not stay in there. So you can loosen the scrap. And you can bring this up. So you can rotate it, turn it. There you go, and sit. Here's my pencil. Why is it in Chinese? Ah, uh, okay. This pencil work perfect with it. So yeah. That's about it. So thank you for watching. The case is very protective. I'm not gonna do a drop test because I just bought this, so <laughs> I'll be out of my mind to do a drop test. But you know, this case, it feels heavy. On the edges here, it's rubber, hard rubber. So it's extra protective. You don't have to worry about the screen being cracked if it falls face down just for the simple fact that as you can see the screen is protected also there's edges here that won't allow the screen to touch the ground or to fall flat on your face